Today I will be showing you a tool that I made in Touch Design, which lets you uh, import and export uh, SVG files uh, yeah, in, in Touch Designer. So you want to uh, download this and here in Touch Designer you want to um, I, I recommend that you put uh, the docs files in the palette in my components and the files here and I just refresh and here you have it so you can drag both of these now in the sop to SVG you can like Create, uh, let's create some geometry so you can test it. Say dx and dy. Just a basic uh, example. And I will transform this into a sop. And create a node. Let's use this as the sock and then you hit the copy as SVG and then it's ready to be pasted on, on Illustrator or another software. Uh, let's also see if we make this more smooth, like with a polyspine. Video like this, and let's increase this. Let's copy it again. Here you have it. You can see that it has a lot of points because it's not like rendering the, the actual uh, Bezier curve. But if you want to uh, clean this up, you can. Use object, object path, and simplify. And now you have a more smooth uh, curve. I can also test it to copy an SVG and paste it on Touch Designer. So, like, you can create uh, some curves, the new Ctrl C. And then here on the SVG to sub, you hit pulse and it generates the geometry. Let's also test it with uh, other kinds of uh, objects so we can see fill here and if you make it hollow, this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, like this. Uh, as you can see, it's just rendering the lines, so you might want to manually uh, set. So you want to close the first, like this. Let's actually close it and then use the whole saw. And now you have uh, yeah, like the right geometry. You can also, uh, like if it's not closed, I think you can use the primitive sub and here change it to close. And then you can just use again the whole sub to generate the whole. Uh, and you can also notice that the geometry might be like a little big, and that's because it's taking this um, the dimension and then using the same dimension. So, if you want to scale it down, like you can use the transform and say scale unity proportional, and then just uh, translate it to the origin like this. And then you can see that 
it goes from 0 to 1, so it's uh, small. If you want, you can also just let's see. If you want to center it on the origin, you can also just do like this, and then it's uh, on the center. Now, I will also uh, show you some use cases. So, in this tool that I made, so you can just draw a shape like this and then you can this is made in top split you can just uh, transform it into a sub and then let's see let's use the, the component let's update refresh so sub to svg and then i will use this copy and then, yeah, it's working. Okay, then obviously clean up like I told you. And let's just see a final example to it. So this one, I have here my uh, geometry that I made with this uh, tool. And then so press VG, use this sub copy and paste it and yeah as you can see it's working and you can obviously change the colors and stuff that's pretty much it <laughs>